When you were younger, you may remember playing a game called Animal Crossing. For those of you unfamiliar, the game consisted of the character, you, being introduced to a town of animals. You were given your own home to live in, you can interact with the other animal residents, and participate in many other activities such as fishing, lumberjacking, and bug catching. Overall, it was a friendly children game with a lot of seemingly innocent things to do. There are, however, several theories about this game that believe to reveal a darker meaning behind the game. One theory states that Animal Crossing is actually a game about an animal cult that kidnaps children. This theory essentially revolves around events taking place in this game that could be perceived as having a very different meaning. We'll begin with the very start of the game. You wake up in a cab on a rainy day, or in some versions, you wake up alone in a train. In the version with the cab, the driver is a turtle type thing named Cap'n. Cap'n is actually based off a creature called Kappa. And uh, no, it's not this meme Kappa dude. In Japanese folklore, there's a creature known as a Kappa. The Kappa is described as being a water imp with a tortoise-like appearance. They are around the same size as a child, but possess incredible strength. These creatures are known for their malevolent behavior, and are even known as flesh-eating water imps. According to the folklore, they would attack horses, cattle, and humans by pulling them into the water and devouring their insides. One big part of the folklore that the Animal Crossing theory mainly goes off of is that the Kappa was known to have kidnapped children. So back to the game. Upon arrival to the town, you are given a cramped house with a concrete floor, a lamp on top of a cardboard box, and a radio that hardly works anymore. Immediately, Tom Nook comes around, demanding you to put in the work to pay off the house, and even if you do muster up enough money, he just upgrades the house and charges you more money. Even if you say you don't want the house to expand, he'll just keep asking you until you agree, thus putting you into an endless cycle of debt. If that wasn't enough, there are also gyroids that can be found throughout the game. These gyroids show a striking similarity to the Japanese Haniwa. A Haniwa was a terracotta clay figure that was used for rituals in Japan and buried with the dead. In Animal Crossing, these gyroids could be dug up from the ground after rainy days. There are hundreds of these gyroids that can be found in the game. Some theorize these are the graves of the animals, or maybe even the graves of previous children who were kidnapped and brought here. And if you ever start feeling uneasy about this town, it doesn't matter because you can't leave. Every futile attempt to leave just ends with you being turned back at the gates, showing that you are forever trapped here. Regardless of all of that, this theory is still generally considered to be pretty unlikely for a few reasons. In some versions of the game, you tell the NPC on the train that you are moving, indicating that you are going to this town by your own choice, and not against your will. Although the house you arrive in does start out pretty crappy, it can be upgraded and heavily improved, and you're not actually put into a state of endless debt. Although you are forced to upgrade your house many times, there does come a time where you fully pay off your entire debt to Tom Nook. And as for the Kappa, that isn't too odd, as it isn't unheard of for Japanese games to base characters and objects from their culture. Overall, the theory doesn't hold too much merit, but we're not done just yet. Another theory about Animal Crossing that some people have conjured up is that you're actually dead and in purgatory. Before jumping into this theory, we need to clarify what we mean by purgatory. The two main beliefs about purgatory are that it's a place for people that aren't good enough to get into heaven, but not quite bad enough for hell. Nonetheless, it's a punishment. Then the other belief is that purgatory is more of a waiting room for you to stay in before entering heaven. This theory uses the second interpretation of purgatory. The theory states that you have died, yet aren't aware of it, and this world is purgatory, but it's designed to keep you from knowing that you're dead to prevent you from panicking. The talking animals can be an aspect of this world to keep the child calm, and you're always given some type of task to do to keep yourself busy. This theory also employs the gyroids that I mentioned earlier. As said before, these gyroids look very similar to the Japanese Haniwa, which were buried with the dead in Japan at one point. Not only do these gyroids appear very often in the game, hinting at death, but take a look at what happens if you forget to save the game, and then shut off the game.
your face begins replaced with that of a gyroid. Some have theorized this is your soul trying to tell you that you're dead, so you can realize what is going on and transcend into heaven. Another piece of evidence for this was brought up by someone on Reddit. During this game, you will periodically receive letters in the mail from your mother, along with gifts. These letters may just be letters that your mother left on your grave they were receiving in purgatory. The letters referenced by the Redditor were ones that said, I thought of you and how we used to walk in tall grass, and I hope you're doing well. One particularly interesting one was one that mentioned her hearing your voice in the wind and getting spooked by it. I'm pretty sure the evidence with the letters isn't valid, because there are also letters you can receive from your mother in the game that say things that wouldn't make sense as a letter on a grave. For example, the one that says, Even if you have chosen to live with animals, which I'll never understand. Animal Crossing was one of my favorite games when I was younger, and reading up on all these theories was pretty interesting. I'm sure a lot of this is probably just people looking too far into the game, but nonetheless, it's fascinating. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.